Hey everybody, it's Alex Ke <laughs> I was at the barbershop and I saw my man Lamar. He started telling me the saga of the basement. A while back, I put a shower in the basement bathroom. He was so happy. Two daughters and a wife, he and his son never got in the bathroom upstairs. Finally, they had a little space of their own. Man and young man space. Lately, his sewer line backed up on a regular basis and kept damaging his finished basement. So much so that he was finished, no pun intended, with his basement. Nobody used it anymore. It became a source of stress for him and his wife. He kept cleaning up sewage and his wife was angry that he had to. Not angry enough to do it for him, but... He wanted to take one last shot at the sanctuary. A place where he could think, work, and just be a man. You see, his space was the den. Then when the basement became unfriendly, they took over the den, which put him back in the basement. He thugged it out as long as he could, but the constant sewage was discouraging. But he was determined to figure out a way to create man space once and for all. As a husband and father like him, I understood. So it became personal. It was a fight for all fathers to have the right to at least one corner of the house for themselves. I was on a mission, so I met him at his house to map out a plan. The desk would go here, the bookshelf would go there, the TV over there, so on now. First we dealt with the sewer line. Then I decided that I would renovate this space in a way that water in the basement would be less of an inconvenience. I came up with an idea that I had seen used somewhere else for an entirely different reason. The idea was to install the paneling on top of a two and a half inch strip of hardy backer board. The hardy backer board is waterproof. It's the same stuff you put in shower areas behind the tile instead of sheetrock. I made it two and a half inches so that a three inch base molding would cover the cement board. By the way, I used PVC base molding which is also waterproof. This way, anything less than a major flood would do minimal damage. Once I installed the backer board, it was time for the paneling. This particular paneling took more work because I had to level and line up the horizontal mortar joints for, of the paneling on the uneven floor. I have to interject here. Aaron, Lamar's wife, actually said to me, I don't know why he's wasted time with that basement. Ugh. She actually stuck her tongue out at the basement. But when the paneling started to go up, before I was even finished, she started speaking French. Oh. We could do this and we could do that. I said, Lamar, I think it's over for you. He said, nah, man, I'm fighting for this space. I said, okay. Now came the soffits. The main heating pipes were to be covered. I decided to cut vents in the panel to allow heat from the pipes to warm the basement. After the paneling, it was time for molding and the flooring. Mission accomplished. The basement is once again usable. Finally, man space. Or not. <laughs> <laughs>